so go back to the example. We state now, okay, using the mu1, mu2, mu3, okay, we have your HO here, or we say the mean yield of corn among the different nitrogen levels are the same versus the HA at least mu1, mu i not equal to mu j, where i and j, okay, i or j equal to one, two, three, okay? And then at least one of the nitrogen levels has a different mean. So yun yung ibig sabihin ng HA natin yung symbol, ng mu i not equal to mu j. At least one nitrogen level has a different mean. Okay, so the test procedure, I, I don't know if, okay, familiar naman siguro ng F-test, no? Okay, so one procedure is we can use the F-test using one-way ANOVA. Bakit? Kasi if we satisfy the assumptions, we can use the F-test. If we do not satisfy the assumptions, we cannot use the F-test. So we have to go, we have maybe to transform the data or use non-parametric method. Okay? So yun. So not all the time that we use the F. But this time, we will just focus on the F and then also given that the assumptions are satisfied. Okay. The test statistics, since we are using the F, so we have this formula. This is the ratio of MSTR. So MSTR is the mean square of the treatment over the mean square error. Okay. So how do we get this value? So we need to construct an ANOVA table. Okay. Then decision rule, we reject HO if the F computed is greater than the F tabulated. So always greater kapag nagre-reject. Okay? And then, okay, this now, the, the right-hand side is your, okay, the F tabulated. Okay? If you do the manual, okay, way of the analysis, um, we we can have this um, F tabulated, okay, dun sa Excel. Or, we can use another way of deciding whether to reject the HO is, or whether or not to reject the HO is to use the p-value. So, hindi lang F pwedeng p-value. So, reject HO if the p-value is less than or equal uh, to alpha, wherein we set alpha equal to 0 0.05 in our uh, example here. Otherwise, fail otherwise fail to reject the HO. So, yun yung OFTR here. Okay. So, again, as what I've said, this ANOVA is very helpful in computing for the F, which is the ratio of the MSTR over MSE. So what is really ANOVA? So ANOVA is a way of partitioning the total variation. So the first partition is the variation due to treatment, which is actually computed using the TRSS, which is yun, makikita dun sa ANOVA table. And then the other partition is the error sum of squares, okay? or actually computed because we want to have this variation due to randomization. So, ito yun. Dito yung nagre-reflect sa, as you can see in the ANOVA table, the ESS. Okay. Now, we start from getting the sum of squares, and then we divide it to the degrees of freedom to get the mean. So, from the total, we get now the mean, and then we get the ratio of this, and we get the F. And that's it. You now have your F value. Okay. But, again, take note that we cannot use the F okay, test if the assumptions are not satisfied. So, what are those assumptions? Number one, homogeneity variances. We need that. Number two, normality. Number three, independence of experimental errors. So, this time, I will illustrate to you on how to check on, the, on these assumptions. Okay, I'll start with this um, homogeneity of error variances. So, we have Homogeneity of variances. So the variances of the experimental errors of the groups must be the same. So you expect here, if for example, you have how many applications of is that sulfur or nitrogen? So we have three. So you have three groups. Okay, for group one for level one or the nitrogen level 30, and then the next group, okay, group two, and then the next group, group three. So you expect that we have these different variances from each group. And that should be, uh, this variance should be the same. Okay? So we have to test that. So that's our HO. So sigma square 1, so this is the variance under group 1. Okay? Equal to sigma square 2, this is the variance under group 2. Okay? And so on. Okay? So this is a very general hypothesis. Kasi hanggang T. But in our study, we only have until sigma square 3. Sub 3. So, in short, we have these error variances which are equal for all the treatments. Versus the HA, at least one. So, kahit isang variance la ang naiba uh, from the rest. So, at least one pair of error variance are not equal. 
Okay. Then we have this test procedure, uh, Levine's test or Bartlett's test. These are common tests. Okay. You can use R or you can use um, SAS or you can use theta no, to come up with these values. And then decision rule. Okay. We may use the p-values if we're using a software. So p-value less than alpha otherwise uh, uh, reject. HO if p value is less than alpha, otherwise fail to reject the HO. Okay, so this is an example on how we uh, check for this assumption. Um, we have this STAR software. I'm not sure if you're familiar with STAR, but this is a free software wherein you can download and then install it for free. Okay, uh, you may go to ERI website. Okay. And then, okay, later I will illustrate to you how to do this. Okay, um, we have this p-value. This is very important. So this will help us decide whether to reject or fail to reject. Now, if this is greater than, what is our set value? 0 0.05. So if this is greater than 0 0.05, then we, what? Okay, fail to reject HO. And it's a good news to us because, meaning the assumption is satisfied. Okay, so if it's great, if the p-value okay, is greater than alpha, we fail to reject the HO, okay, and then we can say that the homogeneity of error variances assumption is satisfied, and that's good. Okay, another assumption that we have to deal is this normality of errors. Okay, now we have this... Um, Experimental errors of the different groups must follow a normal distribution. Okay, some popular tests, we have the chi-square, kolmogorov smirnov and then wilk shapiro Okay, but uh, yung common dito is shapiro wilk or wilk shapiro Okay, so HO here stated as the errors follow a normal distribution. HA, the errors do not follow normal distribution. Okay, then we can use the software, the STAR software to check on this. Okay, uh, the test using Shapiro Wilk and then decision rule reject HO if uh, p value is less than alpha, otherwise fail to reject the HO. Okay, an example. So since we have different groups, so we have to check uh, normality for each group. Okay. So we have the p value. Okay. For group one, we have 0.92. That's greater than, way higher than 0.05. Also, 0.99, way higher than 0.89. So, good news po, dahil we have satisfied this assumption of normality. So, at least we can proceed. Okay. After the homogeneity variances, we have this normality of errors. What's next? The independence of errors. So, independence of errors are actually, okay, must be part of the design in terms of randomly assigning the treatment. So, if, you, if you're confident that you have randomly assigned the treatments to the experimental units, then... You have satisfied this assumption of independence of errors, okay? And then, okay, we go back again to the example. Okay, so we have this mu, our HO and HA. So I've discussed this already, the test procedure, the F. And then the statistics, we have this ratio. And then the decision rule, you can use the F and the p-value. Okay, um, if, for example, you don't have the software or you're, you are not, uh, if you want to at least try no, doing the manual computation, so you have this formula here. So you are provided with this formula. Okay. And then for sure, this formula will will give the same result with that of the software. Okay. So, okay. Just to show you no, no, my correction factor, my total SS, my treatment SS, and the error SS. Okay. Okay. Now, this is our ANOVA table. So we have this SS. Take note, we computed for 9.4, 2.66, okay, and then 6.74. So these values are found in the next slide, 9.4. Yes, this one. This is the total SS, the TSS, the ESS, and the TRSS. So this one divided by the degrees of freedom. Then we have this a mean square, and then we get the ratio, and then we get the F. And then we compare. So how do we compare? So we compare it to the tabulated. So I have, I, I'm showing here the formula or how, or the function and how to come up with this 4.26. So you can use Excel. Kung wala po kayong F table, you have this formula I'm showing. 
and then just press enter. So input this, okay, and then enter, and then you will have this 4.26. And then you can now compare. So 1.78 is less than 4.26. So we, that means that we fail to reject because we only reject if it's greater than. And sadly, in this case, we have less than. So we fail to reject. And therefore, at alpha 0.05, the mean yield of corn among the different nitrogen levels are the same. Okay? So, parehas lang daw ng result or yung means no different levels. Okay, so if you are a researcher or if you are uh, trying to compare this and if you see na they are just the same, then you just go for the less or the least expensive level. 